AAA is predicting a big boost in travel this Memorial Day weekend. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Mark Welp. And I'm Kimberly Parker. The company says they expect a 60% increase in holiday travelers compared to last year. Our Demetrius Sanders joins us live outside of Peoria International Airport with an outlook on travel from central Illinois. Demetrius. Well, Mark Kimberly, as vaccinations continue and restrictions are eased, those I spoke to say they do expect travel to pick up here in the coming months as more people begin to pick up their bags and hit the roads or the air. With Memorial Day just around the corner, Peoria International Airport is anticipating more seats that are filled. It's certainly going to be busier uh, than certainly last year. Um, and probably even a little busier than last month. For example, over the next month, Olson says American Airlines travelers are expected to be down just 13% compared to 2019. To get within 13% of normal, that's pretty good progress for this time of year. Local travel agents also seeing an increased interest as the holiday and summer months approach. We actually had a um, kind of an open house last week and we had over 300 people attend. Schott says she's witnessed travelers looking at international locations to popular spots right here in the U.S. A lot of national parks, um, beaches like Florida, um, North Carolina, South Carolina. As some are looking to vacation away from central Illinois, there's others coming in to enjoy their Memorial Day. At least a quarter of our uh, our occupancy is from people that aren't from even around here. And Whitaker says after a strong holiday last year, he says early indication is that 2021 will be no different. We've only got a, right now approximately 20 open reservable campsites for Memorial Day weekend, and we are still probably two weeks out. Now, AAA says they expect around 2.5 million people to travel by air this Memorial Day weekend. That number is nearly six times the amount of 2020. Reporting live in Peoria, Demetria Sanders, WMBD News.